Hi, Elite Recapped here. In this video I will recap one of a unique film. Crime, horror, thriller film, released 2021. Cult. Hoodman. For more movie summaries. Don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell button to get all new videos. And like this video, it really helped channel to grow. Before we start. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Have a great day. The movie started, there's a car on empty road and a woman and his baby inside it. The baby start crying from the back seat and while she driving, talking to him to calm down and suddenly, a man appeared directly in fro of the car, she tried not to hit him, then she made an accident. There are a babies and kids disappearing reports, many kids disappeared in Madison City. The woman who was driving the car, Mrs. Chandler, waked up at hospital, the doctor talking to her, telling her that she had an accident, Mrs. Chandler asked about her baby Joshua, the doctor told her that he didn't make it, she told him that it's a moss, because he was on the back seat, and she wants to see her baby now, the doctor told her that she hit her head, she would stay here tonight and in the morning he would come to see her, then he got out. Mrs. Chandler's mother and her father inside the room, the woman gave her a letter written by Missy, and telling her that they need her to come back to home, they told her that they would come tomorrow to see her again. Mrs. Chandler with a nurse in the room and a detective got inside, he want to talk to her, the nurse told him that she is not okay yet, he told her that he wouldn't took time. The detective started to ask her about the accident and how it happened, but first he told her that he feels so about her baby and he know that she lost her husband too. She told him that she was in the car, just she and her baby, detective asked her if she had drugs and told her that he had to ask this question. She told him that she saw a man in the middle of the road and she used the brake to not hit him, but she told him that she might hit him, he told her that he just came from the accident scene and there is no body there except her baby. She insisted that the body not for her baby. The detective asked her to describe the man she saw, she told him that she didn't saw his face, but he looked like a man, he was wearing a black robe, that what she saw. The nurse told the detective that's enough and he had to get out. The woman, Ari, went to sleep, she is dreaming that, she walking in the hospital and seeing a picture from Woods. She waked up and saw someone moving from behind the drape she seemed scary. Her friend get inside, told her that she's still beautiful, Ari asked her about the time, she told her it's 3 am her friend asked her what happened with her, she told her that she might be kill someone and they told her that her baby is dead, but she didn't believe them and she want to get out and looking for him. Her friend told her that this while was hard to her, his husband suicide in this accident. Ari told her that she didn't make it, that's what happened, and told her that she would get out tomorrow and would going to her family's home and want her help to go to her home. In the morning, Ari went to her home with her friend to take her stuff, she looking to a picture for her baby. They went to Ari's family home, in the car, she telling her friend that she can't believe that she is moving to here again. Her friend told her that she could come to live with her, she told her that she didn't want to refuse her family help. They get down from the taking the boxes down. Missy came and hugged her, her mother told her that Missy feels happy for her sisters came. Ari asked about her father, her mother told her that he is working as usual. Ari's friend told her that she had to go to work. Her mom told her that her room's still the same, they get inside, Ari went to her room, her sister told her that her husband's suicide because he saw bad things in the war. Her mother took her out to her room, and told her not to talk about her husband while her sister is here. She asked her if she would go again and her mother said that it looks like she back to stay. Ari in her room looking to her husband picture, while her mother knocking on the door and get inside, Ari put the picture back in its place. Her mother told her that she know her father, that he can't say his feelings. Ari asked her about her dead brother, when he died. Her mother told her that she didn't want to talk about it, but Ari asked her how he died and if the myths that she used to tell them was real. Ari told her that she had say that he dead by sudden infant death syndrome. Her mother told her to ask Dr. Wood, it was helpful to her when she lost Timmy, Ari told her that she didn't need a shriek and asked her to took her car to go to her home. Ari out, searching on her boxes, someone came, he made her scared, his name is Polly, he told her that he knew that she had accident and came to here, so he came to see her, because it's been a long time since he saw her. He told her that he is here, if she wanted to talk, and invited her to his home because his father too, wants to see her. Ari sleeping on her room, she dreaming again by someone running on the woods, she waked up and found someone standing beside her she got freaked and turned on the light, he was her father who standing, she asked her how he got inside, so he told her that he found the door open. Her father welcomed her and told her that it was quite here since she gone. She told him that she would find her baby and move away. Her father told her that he didn't say that, but she told him that she understood what he wanted to say. In the morning, the detective came and wanted to take her to the department to ask her some questions, she told him instead of asking her, he should looking for her baby, 
He told her that her baby is dead and insisted to take her. She told him that she would change her clothes first. They went to the department. They are on the investigating room asking her about what happened that night. She told him that she told him everything before. He asked her to say it again. She told him what happened. Then the detective started to say her record that she tried to kill herself when she was 22 and she had addict on drugs and alcohol. He told her that she suffered from depression and she wasn't the only one who suffered on the family. Ari told him that everything changed since she met her husband. Then the detective told her that her husband who was on the military and went to the Middle East, he saw the war there. Then he went back. He got depression and killed himself. The detective told her what he thinks, that she got depressed and tried to kill herself, but she can't make it. Then he told her that he understand the feeling of losing someone because he lost his son too. She told him that she is sorry, but her baby didn't die and the hoodman took him. He told her that he didn't believe the hoodman story and he taking the reasons. She asked him if she under arrest and he said not yet. Then she left the room. Ari, her sister and her friend were playing together when her sister told her that she is happy because she found someone to play with. Ari asked her why she didn't play with her friends. Her sister told her that she didn't have friends because they think that she is weary. Ari's friend told her to do what she want and not to care about friends. While they talking, Ari saw the hoodman. She got frightened and told her friend that she saw someone. Then she took her sister and went to the car to get back. The detective was following her. Ari and Missy went back to home. While they are on the car, Ari told her sister that if she saw anything strange, she should come and telling her what she saw. Ari went to the kitchen while drinking water. She found the number of Doctor Wood. She took it and visited her. The doctor told her that she is happy that she decided to came to here after what happened with her and told her that she helped her mother when she lost her son. Ari told her that her baby didn't die. The doctor asked her how she knows. She told her that she just feels that. Then the doctor asked if he didn't die. Where is he now? Ari told her that the hoodman took him and the hoodman not just a story. She know that it's real. The doctor told her that her mother was thinking like that when she lost her son. Ari told her that she's still thinking like that. The doctor told her that they are just a local stories and not real. Ari told her if they depending on a true story, because when she was young her mother told her this story and a lot of people talking about that. The doctor told her that they are just stories and not real. Ari went back to home and she went to sleep and while she sleeping she dreaming herself on the woods and sometimes on her car. At the car she seeing Hoodman beside her. At the morning, Ari, her sister and Polly went to the pool and her sister jumped on the water. Then she told Polly that it was a good idea to come to here because her sister doesn't have friends to play with. Polly told her that he was in love with her at high school. She told him that's weird because she didn't saw him at high school. He told her that's right because his mother died. Then Ari told him that he didn't tell him how she feels sorry about his mother's death. He told her after her death his father can't move on. He's still sad. Then she told him it's hard to lose someone. Meanwhile, Polly's father came, bringing an ice cream for them. Ari said hi to him and he consolidated her. Polly told her that he loves you as I am while touching her hand. Missy came and chose a flavor for ice cream. Ari and Missy went back to home. They are on Missy's room and Missy asking her if she loves Polly. Ari told her that he just a friend, but Missy didn't believe her. Ari promised her that they just friends and got out from the room. Missy went to sleep. Ari and her friend were sitting together and her friend told her to accept her baby's death and sometimes when you suddenly losing someone, his spirit would be around you. Then she told her that she remember about kids died and disappeared here and she should to look for it. In the morning, Ari went to the public library and the woman there brought to her a book that a local writer made it and said that this writer assumed that a hoodman took his daughter. Ari started to search on the internet about him Mr. Hackman. She found his address and went to him. She knocked the door and he told him that she want to talk about his daughter. He told her to go away. Then she told him that she want to know about Hoodman. He opened the door and asked her if she a reporter. She told him that Hoodman took her son too. She got inside and and she told him that she saw Hoodman. He asked her if she saw him and she said, "Yes." He asked of her how she looked like and she told him. He asked her if she saw him again. She told them that she saw him and she feel that he follow her. He asked if you saw him in her dreams and she said yes, she saw him. He told her that Hugman took his daughter when she was 7, her window of her room was open and he didn't see her again. Then he told her that if she believe in him, it would be dangerous for her. Ari told him that she want to fight it. He told her if she want to do that, she should stop believing in it. Ari got nervous and went out. After she went out, the detective came to Mr. Hackman's house. He told him it's been too long since he saw him and he's still weird like when he was at school. Before the detective get out, he told Mr. Hackman to come to the station tomorrow at 7 a.m. At the evening, Ari was sleeping and suddenly the door of her room opened and no one there. The detective working, he took his photo with his son and starting to look to it. 
Then he gets into the investigating room and starting to investigate with Mr. Hackman, asking him where he was on the night that his daughter, he told him that he was on his work. The detective told him that they found their maid dead. The detective told him that he didn't believe the story of Hoodman, and asked him what Hoodman doing with the kids. Mr. Hackman, told him that he steal their soul then they die. The detective told him after his daughter dead four kids had been disappeared in the same circumstances, the Hackman told him they are not just four kids, they are hundred of kids, then asked him if he need a lawyer or not, the detective told him that he didn't have enough money for the lawyer. Hackman told him if he didn't under arrest he would go, then he got out. Ari getting to her sister room and her sister asked her about her husband and why he killed himself and Ari told her why he did that, and told her to count from 1 to 100 to got to sleep. Ari got out from the room and heard a sound, she followed the sound and she saw Hoodman standing beside the pool of Polly's home, she called him and told him that there's a man on his house. She went down and starting to look for Hoodman and someone out his hand on her shoulder and she got scared, he was Polly, he told her that there's no one here, it might be his father walking while sleeping, she told him he wasn't his father. Ari looked from down to her sister's window and she found her standing and Hoodman was behind her, she shouted to her. Ari went inside her home trying to call someone, but the electric cut down, she opened the flashlight and getting upstairs, she found her sister's toy on the stairs. Ari went to her sister's room, she found her sleeping with her toy. She closed the door and sat down and starting to crying. She went to her room and she went to sleep, but she can't and the hoodman was standing behind her, she started to count to can sleep, she heard a sound from her closet and went to see what made it. She didn't find anything, but hoodman was behind her. She took bell and the electric cut off, she took the flashlight and went down, she heard a voice and followed it, then she heard another sound and followed it, it was her cat. She got out and she saw Hoodman and hurried to Polly, but he was sleeping and didn't hear her. Hoodman was following her, she ran scarcely and broke take lock of the gate and went outside, she stopped a car, then Polly took her inside and told her that no one there and he would search with her to be sure that no one there. After searching, she went to sleep and she had the same nightmare, but this time she found the letter of Missy and there's a blood on it, then she wake up. She went to take her bells but she didn't took it, she went downstairs, her mother asked if she took her bells and she said yes she did. Ari asked them to stop treating her as a kid and her father told her that they are scary about her. Ari went out and her friend called her to come to her home, she went there and told her that she know about spirit stuff and wants her help. They went to a room and starting to call a spirit to help them, and to give them a sign about his coming, Ari felt cold and and felt her son, in that time, Hoodman was behind Ari, then electric suddenly cut off, and her friend asked her to go now. Mr. Hackman was drawing and Hoodman behind him, then he killed himself. Ari went to Mr. Hackman, but she found him dead. At Ari's friend home, her friend checking her son, and went to her room, she felt someone behind her, but there's no one, Hoodman was on her home, Ari went to her friend's home, but she didn't found her or her son. Ari went to her home, looking for her sister and she didn't found her, she heard a sound from upstairs, she took a knife with her and got upstairs and followed the sound, she heard another sound from upstairs, she went up and got inside a place, and starting to look for her sister, Hoodman was upstairs, he tried to kill her and she stabbed him in his leg and went down, she took her sister and was running from Hoodman, she went to the car, opened the gate of the garage and got inside the car, she didn't found the key and Hoodman was on the car and trying to kill her, her sister was scared because she didn't see anything, while Hoodman trying to kill her, she remembered what Mr. Hackman said, she should stop believing him to let her. The detective went to her home and got inside, while that, Ari looked to the mirror and starting to say that it's not real, for many time and he let her. The detective opened the door car, but he didn't find anyone on back. After a month, Ari was moving from her family's home going to Colorado, her sister want to go with her and she told her to stay here, and taking care of her father and mother. She rode her car, and Polly ran to her, he told her that if she sure that she didn't want to stay here and married him and she said yes she sure. Ari went to her husband Rip and put on it a flowers and their son's photo and she go away. At Ari's family home, in the Missy's room, suddenly her door opened, she waked up and shouted to her father and mother, then she saw Hoodman, she closed the door and went under her bed hiding from him, Hoodman found her and took her too. That's my explanation for the movie. Before the video ends. When you reach the end, it means that I succeeded. So. Don't forget to subscribe to Elite Recap channel, and hit the bell button to get notification all new videos. And like this video, it really helped channel to grow. Thanks you for watching. See you in the next video.